Base secured. All bases controlled. 40 point run. Sniper rifle at 30. Power weapons at 30 seconds. Halfway to victory. Nice base defense. Hey, hello everybody, it's the Crazy Spartan again, and it's been a while. I, God, I feel like such a scrub when it comes to making videos these days. But, to be absolutely honest with you, I have been extremely busy. Um, just a little insight as to what I've been doing. Uh, first thing, I've been working on getting a second job. <laughs> I know, right? Well, like, one isn't uh, good enough. Um, been getting a second job. Uh, the main reason I'm doing that is because my wife's school loans, they leave a like, leave a like on, on this video if you know anything about school loans and how much fun they are. <laughs> but uh, my wife's school loans um, basically uh, came around to us and said, yeah, you guys make too much money, so we're going to triple your payment size. It's like, what? Our other debt and bills haven't changed, but you're going to triple our our payment size on our school loans so yes i am getting a second job and hopefully by the end of uh, uh or next year this will be uh fixed and uh we won't have this problem anymore oh my god i can't tell you uh, how much a pain in the butt school loans are um i've been doing that and i've been also working a lot on my photography uh, if you have seen some of it on twitter if you follow me on twitter um I might uh, post a picture or two somewhere on there. Uh, I've been working a lot on that, and it's been coming along great. I wanted to uh, quit my main job now and work on photography and make that my main job because I love it, I enjoy it, and I want to uh, really have that be, be my main source of income. And it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy because that's self-employment and... That's not a guaranteed paycheck from day to day, so uh, so I'm going to be working on that. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into E3. Now, that is less than a week away. By the time you watch this video, I'm talking six days away. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of new news. And as you guys know, I don't do a whole lot of news anymore because there are channels out there. That's all they do. And when uh, something new drops... My inbox is full of news, and it's all the same thing by different people. It's just like, ugh, I ain't watching any of this now. Um, but anyways, uh, we are going to get a lot of stuff uh, for E3. And for you that uh, want to know more about that, I will probably talk about any specific things or, uh, for that um, in the future as it comes along. But not like major news event, but probably like my uh, own twist on things. Um, but let's go ahead and see what I think my hope is what we're going to see for E3. I'm not talking Halo 5 yet. I, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, things I want to see. I want to see a Gears of War 4. Uh, I I'm a big Gears head. I loved Gears of War. Uh, one of the best campaigns I've ever played. Uh, of course, uh, Halo <laughs> uh, beats it, but uh, not by much. It, it Gears of War was it was an incredible campaign. Loved it. Um, they're talking about a Gears of War one uh, remastered edition. Now that's you know whatever for me. If it's like uh, thirty bucks or something, I might check it out. Uh, uh, until then, though, I'm not gonna not gonna waste another sixty dollars on a game uh, that I've already played. Even though I have it done uh, the same thing for Master Chief Collection, but you know what? It's five games. Come on, I can't complain. Um, we also are going to see some Call of Duty stuff for you COD fans out there. Uh, I don't expect uh, this Black Ops 3 to uh, really wow me by any means. I think they're going to be going more along the lines of um, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is okay, but it's, it's kind of silly at the same time. I just don't see... Uh, watching it a whole playing a whole bunch but I'm not, I've never actually bought a COD game except Modern Warfare 2 I usually get them as as a Christmas present or something um, and I'll play it with friends that's about the most I'll play some Call of Duty um, 
but we'll see some of that. It'll be just kind of interesting to see what they're going to do with it. Um, because honestly, the Black Ops games were my favorite. I think they had the best story, bar none. Uh, I've actually completed all the campaigns in the Black Ops series. Uh, I can't say that for the other ones because they just had no interest for me. They just got boring. Um, so it'll be interesting to see about that stuff. And of course, we're going to have surprises. And I want to see surprises. Like the big killer said, uh, the big killer of 69 uh, is, is an awesome guy. Uh, he's a... Uh, Incredibly fun to play with. I got to finally enjoy some game time with him. Um, want some surprises, and I think we're going to see a lot this year for uh, Xbox. So be on the lookout for that. But let's talk about some Halo 5. What I expect to see. Uh, first thing I expect to see is some campaign footage, like some real in-game campaign footage. Um, I don't expect any story uh, teasers or... or um, spoilers but we're going to see some actual campaign footage and of course there's going to be speculations galore after that about that uh, which I will be more than happy to do is speculate on some more story um, I also think we are going to see a Halo 5 Xbox uh, Xbox One uh, I could easily see that coming uh, very soon as well uh, <laughs> Who knows what that's going to entail, what that's going to look like. But I think we're uh, going to see that put into place. Uh, of course, that will probably release uh, October 27th as well. Um, what else? I think we are also going to see some Forge. Now, I'm, of course, a big fan of Forge. I love Forge maps, and, of course, I love forging. Uh, I think we're going to see some of that. Now, I personally hope that they're going to show off some of the new features. I think we're going to see some night and day and evening time frames, uh, change that, and um, change the lighting on them, hopefully some of the special effects, hopefully you know some of the gadgets. Uh, <laughs> there's just so much that I hope that they actually show us in Forge. Um, all that stuff is just going to make playing Halo 5 even better, and uh, I can't wait, guys. I'm sorry, but I cannot wait for Halo 5. It's just going to be so much fun, in my opinion. But this video is just about ready to wrap up here. So I'm going to leave off a question for you because I believe we are also going to see one more thing, and that is a remastered map. So what is your top three Halo maps of all time from any game? Go ahead and put that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Crazy Spartan. I'm out of here.